hello dear students this is the part 5 of gene mutation series and we will be discussing chemical mutagens in this so as we have already discussed in previous lectures that the mutations are of two types spontaneous and induced mutations and induced mutations they are caused Uh, due to certain agents which are called mutagens these mutagens can be physical or chemical and physical mutagens we have already discussed in one of the lectures that these are uh, ionizing radiations or non ionizing radiations on and temperature and chemical mutagens are chemical switch induced mutation muta mutations so there are several examples of chemical mutagens like mustard gas nitrogen mustard nitrous acid formaldehyde ethyl uh, methane sulfonate which is called ems ethyl ethane sulfonate which is called eeas 5 bromo uracil ethidium bromide etc and we have already discussed that physical mutagens they cause more changes in gene and few in chromosomal aberrations whereas chemical mutagens they cause more changes at chromosomal level and fewer at gene level so in this lecture we are focusing on chemical mutagens now chemical mutagens they are of three kinds first is called base analog because uh, the structure of this chemical is similar to a base and we will discuss two base analogs in this lecture 5 bromo uracil which is a base analog of thymine base and two amino purine which is a base analog of adenine then the second category is base modifying agents these chemicals they modify the bases and and these chemicals cause three kinds of reactions so first is deamination uh, in which they remove a amino group and the chemical is nitrous acid the third is hydroxylation uh, modification so they add hydroxyl group to the base and the example is hydroxylamine and the third kind is your alkylating agents which add alkyl group to the base resulting in its modification so examples are ems mms and mustard gas so what is ems ethyl methane sulfonate mms is ethyl methane sulfonate now the third category is your intercalating agents which get which intercalates or inserts in between the bases and results in the uh, frame shift mutation so the examples of these uh, agents are proflavin Now, acridine or we will discuss the Ethereum first category right. of uh, chemical mutagens which are called base analogs so base analogs are the bases which are similar to those which are normally found in dna and they are like normal bases and they also exist in rare and tautomeric states so the first example we are discussing is 5 bromo uracil which is a mutagen that has a bromine residue instead of methyl group of thymine and it can 5 bromo uracil it can exist in keto and enol form so what are keto and enol form what are tautomers this we have already discussed in spontaneous mutation which is the part 2 of this lecture so you can refer to that now 5 bromo uracil in its keto a uh, form which is its normal form it resembles thymine and pairs with adenine but in enol form which is the rare form or the tautomeric form of 5 bromo uracil it pairs with guanine and results in transition mutation of of at with gc so you can see here this is normal dna the thymine is paired with adenine here because the thymine is and uh, um, pairing with adenine now uh, in the during mutation what happens that 5 bromo uracil this replaces thymine so this you can see that during replication um, when the two strands of dna separate adenine instead of pairing with thymine the thymine has replaced uh, uh, by 5 bromo uracil and this 5 bromo uracil is present in the keto state now uh, so in the next round of replication this 5 bromo uracil which is in keto state, state um, shifts to enol uh, which is its in normal uh, enol form so 
um, uh, which is not it's uh, in all form but it's uh, rare in all form um, so in five in all state of five bromouracil instead of pairing with adenine it will pair with guanine and so uh, in the next round of uh, replication it is again reverting back to its keto form so keto form will pair with your uh, adenine normally so now if you see because of this tautomeric shift when it has shifted to the enol form from keto form and the pairing with guanine now you can see that the original ta has been replaced with cg so it is an example of transition mutation because thymine has been replaced with c and adenine has been replaced with g so this example uh, this is the photograph from russell you can refer russell for um, genetics by russell for this example now the second base analog which we are discussing is 2 amino purine now 2 amino purine is an analog of adenine and it can also base pair with cytosine leading to possible transition from at to gc following replication so similar to the transition mutation we have just discussed the 2 amino purine will replace adenine and adenine um, um, it will replace with uh, replace adenine but but instead of pairing with thymine it will pair with cytosine and it will lead to uh, transition mutation replacing at to gc following replication the second category of chemical mutagen which we are discussing is base modifying agent and there are three kinds of base modifying agents first causes deamination the example of a mutagen is nitrous acid second is uh, second mutagen causes hydroxylation example is hydroxylamine third is alkylating agents and ems mms and mustard gas are examples of alkylating agents so this is the picture from uh, russell which is a summarized form of all the three base modifying agents and here you can see that in this example this is the original base which is guanine and because of the presence of nitrous acid which is a deaminating agent deamination of guanine will happen and it will result in xanthine because there is but xanthine although the deamination of guanine results in xanthine but xanthine also bonds with cytosine so but so because of this although mutation has happened but in but it will not be observed and it will lead to silent mutation because xanthine is still uh, pairing with cytosine now the other uh, example of deamination is when the cytosine is replaced with uh, uh, when the cytosine is deaminated uh, by nitrous acid it results in the formation of uracil now this uracil is not the normal base for dna but it is the base for rna and uracil instead of uh, this uracil so this uracil will bond to adenine and because of this uh, in the next round of replication the cg base which was original in the dna it will be replaced with ta and this is an example of transition mutation so uh, the next third category is third example of deamination is adenine where adenine when uh, deaminated by nitrous acid results in hypoxanthine this hypoxanthine now bonds with cytosine and which will result in the transition mutation by in next round of replication leading to replacement of at to gc so these are the three examples of deamination which we have just discussed and now the second category of chemicals is your hydroxylating agents so hydroxylating agent is uh, hydroxylamine when cytosine gets uh, is hydroxylated where when a hydroxyl group is added this cytosine converts to hydroxyl amino cytosine and this hydroxyl amino cytosine uh, will now bond with adenine so cytosine which was normally bonding with guanine when uh, hydroxylates it uh, converts to hydroxyl amine and it bonds with adenine because of this in the next round of replication the cg uh, cg bases will be replaced with ta which is an example of transition mutation the now now 
the last example is your alkylating agents so guanine uh, this is the base guanine and when it is treated with methyl methane sulfonate which is an alkylating agent it will convert into O6 methyl guanine and this has bonding this will bond with thiamine so originally it was guanine and it, it, it was bonding with cytosine but now this O6 methyl guanine will bond with thiamine and because of this in the next round of replication GC will be replaced with thiamine AT so this is an example of transition mutation so we have just we have discussed all these examples this is a summarized table from the book Russell now the last category of uh, chemical agents are your intercalating agents and these results in frame shift mutations the the previous two categories they were resulting in point mutations but intercalating agents because they intercalate between the bases so they will result in uh, frame shift mutations and examples are proflavin acridine and ethidium bromide intercalating agents they intercalate between the adjacent bases in one or both the strands of DNA causing the helix to relax and so they result in frame shift mutation so this is here you can see that in uh, the caption in uh, says that frame shift mutation by addition when agent inserts into template and frame shift mutation by deletion when agent insert itself into newly synthesized strand so here you can see that uh, this is mutation by addition so here you can see here uh, uh, intercalating agent is added in the template dna and so in the next round of replication there will be addition mm, um, and because of this the frame work changes because the genetic codon shifts and so this will the whole frame shift the whole framework will change and resulting in frame shift mutation now second example is your uh, mutation by deletion so deletion happens when the intercalating agent um, uh, intercalating agent intercalates in the new strand and results in deletion in subsequent rounds of replication so this is this picture is also from the book uh, Russell you can refer uh, it for understanding it more I hope you have understood the topic and mutations is a vast topic students so you have to refer different books to understand it better thank you students we will be meeting in next lecture now